Hello? Hello? Gamers, we're back. Providing epic content. Today's video has been due for a very long time. And it's my late game TVP guide, you could say. It's gonna be two parts, okay? Uh, this part is gonna be dealing with Sky Toss after playing a normal game. And then the next video, or the next part, is gonna be me playing against somebody who just like goes straight into Sky Toss. Cause I feel like that kind of like, quantifies like a late game scenario. So I'm gonna do both because I've played both recently and I'd like to do a video on it. Um, I'm starting this video here at this point because. Um, I'm about to move out, I'm about to do specific timing. And the reason I'm doing this timing is because I scanned my opponent and I saw the Stargate. So I saw the Stargates warping in. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna attack right now before he goes into carrier. So this is this is the the timing that I'm hitting. Um you can see it's Blackburn, so it's a split map scenario. Um it's very it's very like late gamey. Uh I have these turret rings set up and I'm getting my plus two attack. I have two armories. Um and yeah, so you'll start to see me shift into more air. I think I have one star port. No, I have two star ports now. Um, and yeah, so gonna get started. So I do this move out to hit as they go into Stargate. Um, and I'm trying to just apply some pressure. I'll lower this a little bit more. I'm trying to apply, just apply some pressure. Um, try out a little bit of bio so I can get more liberators because you can see I was I'm maxed out now and I want to add more liberators. So adding three now. I get rid of the tanks. I get rid of the, a bit of the bio. Um, but I'm, I'm abusing this, you know, like I'm threatening this, but also threatening over here. Uh, my opponent has a pretty good army, definitely. Um, I do feel like he could have attacked into me, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong in saying that. Um, but basically behind this, what I'm doing here is you can see I'm maxed out, obviously. And because I'm starting to float minerals, I'm starting to extra command centers. This is the exact time you want to start adding the extra command centers is when you start floating minerals like this naturally. Um, when you're amassing bio. So, you know, maybe you can pause the aggression and pull back a little bit back here. Start mass expanding, just adding more command centers. Um, they're helpful for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you lose like a planetary, you can replace it with another orbital. Um, or you could just like throw your SCVs away and your army becomes insane because now you just have less workers and more army supply. But you need to have uh more orbitals to do that. So this is where that process begins. It's like once you're maxed out, once you're getting your air production, once you've got some safety like stuff established on your bases, you know, like this planetary, a couple of turrets, two tanks. The turrets and a planetary here and a couple of sensor towers bunker here um i pretty much just like do all of this beforehand because i'm trying to i'm trying to prevent crazy things from happening where like i'm trying to micro this against disruptors and this dude is like funneling zealot to like dt's in here i'm trying to more or less be able to defend my bases so that i don't have to pay attention when i see that alert pop up on the mini map and i can just entirely focus on this uh being able to micro because what end up happening sometimes like you get a warp prism here DT here, and then at that point you get fucked, right? Because then you start eating a disruptor ball, you get some storms, this planetary dies, so it's just storming in. So I think the best way to avoid those scenarios from occurring is just preventing them ahead of time. Oh, um, and that's what I do here. So once my, once my safety stuff has been secured, start moving out, being a little bit aggressive, start replacing my supply with some liberators or gas, because I'm going to need more gas. And being a little bit annoying here. So th this game gets pretty long. I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as possible and just give you some of the biggest highlights so that um this shit isn't too long uh i do add extra raxes at this point here when you start floating minerals like this on top of it just adding extra command centers it's really good to add extra production not that i'm gonna necessarily be building more bio per se but in a scenario in which it becomes low eco and there's an opportunity for me to switch into bio i have the production means necessary to do it quickly you know five racks you can only produce so much of five racks at the same time so having the eight really helps build things quicker not so much building more, but also that helps too. You see, sees. Uh, this probe checks out this base here. I can put a pylon on there. And then, yeah, so I'm just consistently scanning. That's where the actual orbitals also come in, is that I'm always knowing where the Protoss army is, especially when I'm playing this very positional army with the tanks and the liberators. I need to know where my opponent is at all times so that I don't get surprised by anything. So that is another reason why you want to have extra orbitals. And of course here... As everything trades out, I instantly queue up liberators. I'm not building any more tanks. Um, and yeah, I'm just pretty much trading out here. My opponent, it's the way he decides to build here, but what's in tens all is a couple more disruptors. Yeah, so I'll play a little push here. There we see three carriers get started up. And then a couple of disruptors. So my opponent is not switching into air. Now, here I'm going to push again. 
Um, and his army is still a little bit scary, so it's not super easy to push into him. Push into the being able to jump on your top of your tank, so... I'll end up killing off this base. Try to send a liberator here, as you guys saw. Um, and just try to be a bit more annoying. As I can. Here, I'm trying to abuse my momentum. And of course, behind this, I'm getting my air upgrades, as I mentioned earlier. Um, get more liberators. I could, uh, extra star port. And, yeah, so at the moment, my army's really getting into his army. When the carriers come out, it'll be a bit different. I do feel like, looking at this game in hindsight, I probably could have been pretty aggressive here. And kept pushing, but I think I was just a bit worried about everything. Especially the Zealots, but you can see I keep scanning. Um, something that I, I actually struggle with a lot in this game, uh, and you'll see later on, is that he kept counterattacking the Zealots and DTs, like, kind of going this way. And then, I couldn't really defend, slash, I didn't know when he was coming, so... It was something that was very annoying. Um, I had to keep respecting the sure this game, yeah. Um... Yeah, so just extra barracks, more liberators, getting two armor upgrades at the same time. And then as I drop here, he pincers me. Uh, gets very tough here. I mean, you can see, just destroys my army. So, here we run away. And thankfully, we have a couple of turrets here. Tank. I saw some more liberators coming out, and I have just dropped. I was doing some damage, so. Try losing that bio there. It's not terrible. I'm able to now just, like, kick out my production here on my starports. And I think I did a hockey the starport. It's a bit unfortunate. Dude, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm legit. It's legit. 7 p.m. Like, why? Why am I yawning? Uh, it's like a YouTube thing. I don't know why I do this. Okay, that's a miss rally, of course. And then, which I guess I'm just pumping out liberators. Now, when it comes to the ideal army composition, what you want to get here is, like, something along the lines of, like, Viking, Raven, I mean, Viking, Liberator, Bio, and Ghost. Um, And... The reason why I suggest uh, Liberator Viking is like, personally, I have the most success with it. But I will say, I think it does require the most micro. Um, uh, this is the composition Mar Maru uses. Um, there's like so many bots of him, of him playing this way that I can also link in the description. Um, uh, the, the alternative style is a BC style. And I'll go, I'll go over that in my, in my other video, in my other part of the series. Uh, where I play BC is actually against somebody who's playing Eritas. Um, and, you know, the plays are a bit different. Um, I think Viking Liberator is probably, like, not, I would not say the best, per se, but I think it's easiest to do in, re in regards to, like, you just start up three star points and just build Raven Vi uh, Liberator Viking instead of, like, trying to build extra star points, add BCs that take a long time to build, very expensive, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll, but I'll talk about more, uh, more about that in the next video for that, for that side of that. Uh, but the, the Liberty Viking, to me, is really good. And I'll show you guys how I micro it. Um, you can see here I'm struggling to take this base because he's CT. So this is where the base defense comes in. I pop two Liberators, one here and one here. I have the building armor upgrades for my buildings. And then I just throw a couple of bio units here. I'm, like, just dropping. Base for damage. And then DTs come in here. I scan it. And then, yeah, it kind of goes away. I, pop, yeah, I put even two Liberators on here. It's just better to be safe than sorry. Um, at this point, like when I lose the CBs, I don't even bother replacing them. I'm just like adding more orbitals. Um, but yeah, like having two liberators plus the planetary is really good. If you have extra widow mines or you want to build widow mines, you can also add widow mines plus the liberators, and you would defend the PFs pretty easily. Air micro away. Do my thing. Cross that's a couple of. Uh... ET is just roaming around there. Of course, we anticipate that. And yeah, so this is where my army starts to look more Liberator-based. Uh, and so pretty much what happens here is, like, the Liberators, I zone, I use them to zone out the Disruptors and some of the ground. But I also use the Liberators to kill the Interceptors via Splash Damage. So he attacks into here. My Bio is away from the Colossus and away from the Disruptors so that my Bio can focus on killing the Interceptors without getting zapped by any of this here. Liberators killed, I think, like, one disruptor the back there, yeah. Um, and then, here, I'm just, like, trading pretty well. I run into some of these Colossus. They, the carriers, I believe, only have plus two. So, they don't, they're not faring the best there. He will just pull back. Um, as some of, like, I think, like, two or three of these have a little bit low on the interceptor count. Um, and I do have more Viking Liberator coming out. So, we hold on there. And you can see I'm kind of running through my money, so... I am indeed behind this game. Um, and I definitely was behind earlier before this as well, but 
Um, what I basically what I would have liked to have ideally is that I would have liked to have the ADSV economy a little bit earlier so that it would be cheaper for me to, or not cheaper, but easier for me to afford the command center uh, building, like the mass expanding. Um, and then that way I could just have a lot more mules right now. Unfortunately, I just don't have that many command centers. I don't have that many orbitals. I want to have like eight. I have seven. So I want to have like one more, you know, this one here, maybe 10 orbitals and just like at the very least have that many to be able to draw mules. Um, but not, not the uh, case there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just pretty much pumping out liberators, man. You can see here, like literally liberators and ghosts. They're just being able to have EMPs and and uh, splash damage there. Um, if I had more money, something I would also do is just, like explode like the missile turrets, just like add a fuck ton of uh, missile turrets here and here over here too. Okay, the, the interceptors. Um, but I scan there. I see my opponent taking the space. I believe I don't know about this base yet, but um, I'm just like trying to rebuild my army, and it's just taking me a while because, I, like I said, I was a little bit broke, um, and I, I, I just, it was gonna take some time. So that's the unfortunate reality. Sometimes here's when you're behind against products like this, it's very scary, oftentimes, and when you don't have the money, especially. So here you just have the main disruptors. So for the most part, here I don't have to uh, siege any of the liberators. Like the liberators can entirely focus on killing the. Uh... Yeah, air receptors, and then I have the Vikings target fire the carrier. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Is I EMP the Liberators. If there's a couple of disruptors, I siege them, and then I have the Liberators just if you click the interceptors, and I try to target fire my Vikings. So you don't need to target fire the Liberators, but you want to try to target fire the Vikings if you can. Uh, the Vikings into the carriers. Um, and I have three three, so I'm feeling pretty confident. He doesn't have any armor upgrades either, so it's quite nice for me. Um. So here you can see that I'm starting to add more turrets because I'm starting to get more money again. Being annoying as much as I can to put its bank down. But soon I'll need another base. And that's a bit of a tough one on this map because I need to take this one. Um, and then here's that scanning where it comes in. I'm able to kind of zone him out here and then I maneuver around his army to do damage. That's what I just end up doing here. So, yeah, I pull back there. Now, what you could do in this scenario, by the way, is if you actually have a lot of Vikings. Um, because here I have, let's see, I have 18 Liberators and 5 Vikings, but ideally I could have like 12 Liberators and a couple more Vikings. And what you, what you can kind of do there is, is basically, when the, when the carriers are flying away like this, and the interceptors go back into the carriers, the Vikings can follow and snipe, target fire one of these back carriers, or from an angle, and if he turns around to release the interceptors, um, you know, by the time, if you have that many Vikings, by the time you shoot this carrier, like two shots, it would, two volleys, it'd be, it'd be dead, right? And you kind of start pulling away. And as you pull away, the interceptors are either already out or coming out. And then at that point, that's where your bio back here, your other liberators, or your liberators and your, and your ghost and your bio, to kill off the interceptors. So that's how you want to micro this. I know it's really hard. It actually is very hard, especially with the angling and stuff like that. But ideally, that's the play you want to make with these. So you can see I siege a couple for the, for the disruptors. Yeah, quickly I'm killing some of these off. My opponent pulls away, but I pick up a disruptor. Okay, I didn't because I'm bad. That's what you want to do. So I'll start speeding it up now. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a little bit repetitive. Uh, but pretty much from this point onward, it's going to be trying to trade well against these. Get another base like this, and then keeping their eco down. So keeping their eco down looks like Liberator Harass, Drops, anything I can to kill off or bleed off their bank so that I can just win by trading. Um, sometimes the games are crazy where like Protoss can't build enough interceptors fast enough because they're just not mining enough minerals. That's the scenario I want, basically. Um, so you can see here I bait him in, kill off a couple of interceptors. If my micro was better here, I would have sent the Vikings forward, so that's a bit of a roge by me. Pull back, and yeah, I'm just kind of playing with the positioning here. Um, and so one thing I can improve on is like having more like, control. But you can see there how sometimes even the splash damage ends up landing on the carriers when the interceptors. Uh, go back into the carrier, so. But yeah, this is how you kind of want to micro. You can see I'm playing, playing with the angling here. Um, I keep scanning, as I said. I'm trying to take more bases. Get some more money. You can see I did what I was talking about right there, where I tried to snipe one of the carriers, and he sent the interceptors, and then my liberators deal with it. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty much going to look like that for the rest of the game. I'm excited to get more money. My bank's looking really good. I'm pretty much just waiting for that one fight I can take. I'm being very patient. And actually, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about when I say I want to take a fight. Um, so here, the disruptors are pretty exposed. 
and the carriers are launched here. So this is a scenario where a fight could be really nice, you know. Yeah, obviously, the problem here is just disruptors, right, like, connecting on all of my bio. But since the interceptors are over here, they kind of have to, like, maneuver around this way. So yeah, it kind of has to A-click this way. But what ends up happening when he A-clicks here is that these carriers back here are still shooting this planetary. So he's actually missing interceptors in this fight. And that's very nice for us. So you can see he has to pull these away. But even when he pulled these, pulled these away, they're still fighting there. And now they've come back into the carrier. So now he's actually losing all his interceptors, as you can see here. And now these three in the back that did have some... Well, now they're kind of shit, right? Because now they're not really good anymore because you want to have them all together. Now, the hard part here is the cannons and breaking through this. I think I could have microed a bit better here. Like, Vikings of uh, micro the Vikings individually and shoot the carriers. Um, I think I jumped the gun here as well, by the way. Like, I think I needed more liberators. But, yeah, these are just examples of how my micro could have been better. Um... Got oh, most of the interceptors. Vikings fly in. Um, and yeah, I just repeat the process. Obviously, obviously I look to take this base sooner. Um, but that's how I do it. So, again, just kind of rebuild my stuff. I got a good amount of Viking Liberator now. My army's getting bigger as I lose SCVs. Trying to add harassment whenever I can. A couple of nukes. A little bit more workers just to make the biggest army I can. And then what you'll end up seeing is I take a nice fight over here and I... Kind of push him against the rope. So again here, Liberators siege up. I've already landed the EMPs. And Liberators are good off all the interceptors, but some of them are sieged to kill off the disruptors. I micro my bio away. This is a little bit unfortunate with the positioning. And so what happens here, and the reason why you want to keep that bio up is these stalkers get a little bit scary now because I don't have any ground support. So I need to pull back and replace with my bio. But as I'm pulling away, I'm trying to kill off some of these interceptors. And now that he's running away, now I can chase him. And if he wants to re-release the interceptors, he has to A-click like this. And now that means he can take more volleys from the, right, from the Liberators. That ends up happening there. Uh, I see a couple here. My bio's fighting the Stalkers, and my Vikings are trying to pick off the Interceptors. Or the Carriers, aka I micro horribly. But yeah, that's kind of... So even my, even my micro is not perfect. You can see, it. obviously, like I'm not target firing the Carriers as well as I can. Um... Yeah, so like I said, this requires a lot of micro. It's very tough um, to execute. Um, and I'll show the BC one in the next video. Oh, so you guys see what that looks like. So you can kind of play which, which one you like more. Um, you can't play BC against heavy carrier, but like I said, you're going to want to have a lot of money to do something like that. In the other game, it'll look like that. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So pretty much what happens here is just, I keep trading. My opponent's running out of money. Um, they have a lot of gas. I have no gas. I'm not really running from these two geysers that it could be. I'm not really mining from this either. I love my workers. Um, I've traded well, better. Um, not like super crazy, but yeah, I just ended up trading better in the end. My plan ran out of minerals. And that's it. So, if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any uh, questions and comments, put them in the comments section. And I'll try to answer them. Or I will answer them, rather. Um, and yeah. So I'll go ahead and do that video now for the BC and let me know what you guys think. All right, nice, nice, nice. That helps, boys. I'll see you guys later.